If you're trying to get as close as possible to recreating a genuine movie theater experience at home, there's just no replacement for a good AV receiver. Think of it as the traffic cop of your audio video system, routing video from your sources to your display and sending audio to your speakers. Nevertheless, some AV receivers do much more than that for a price. That's why in today's video, we gathered five of the best ones that are sure to meet a range of different needs. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's begin. At number 5, we present to you the Arcam AVR31. This AV receiver sits at the top of Arcam's 4-strong 2022 range and is an equivalent premium model to the Synthesis SDR35 from sister brand JBL. Like JBL, Arcam only offers 7 ways of amplification across the board. But with up to 16 channels of decoding, the AVR31 is capable of processing audio for systems up to 9.1.6 and is well placed to be enhanced with the addition of a separate power amplifier. The seven channels of power on board the AVR31 are Class G, a variation of AB amplification that uses voltage rail switching to help maximize the amplifier's efficiency. This is the only AV receiver in Arcam's new lineup that benefits from Class G to deliver a claimed 100 watt per channel with all channels driven, as well as an over-engineered toroidal transformer to help reduce noise. It offers wide-ranging audio format decoding, including Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX Enhanced, and Aura 3D, as well as Dolby Virtual Height, DTS Neutral X, and DTS Virtual X for systems without height speakers. Support and basic license for Dirac Live's advanced room correction software is included along with calibration microphone. There's a healthy connectivity spec too that will appeal to movie fans and gamers alike, with 7 HDMI 2.1 inputs and 3 outputs. All of these HDMI ports can handle 8K video signals at 60fps and 4K at 120fps with support for VRR and ALLM. Dolby Vision and HDR10+. Users can also stream content wirelessly using Apple AirPlay 2, Bluetooth AppDex HD, Google Chromecast, Spotify Connect, Rune, and Tidal Connect. When casting to the AVR31, album artwork is displayed on the generous full-color display. This, along with a sophisticated gray finish, tactile silver volume dial, and uncluttered design, leads it a sophisticated appearance benefiting of its specs and sound. Sonically, the AVR31 puts in a lustrous performance with a clean, controlled clarity that unearths nuance and depth in film soundtracks and music alike. If future-proof features are equally as important to you as having the very best sound quality and your pockets are deep enough, then the AVR31 is an ideal choice for your home cinema. Next up is the Yamaha RX A6A. Yamaha considers the RX A6A the best value AVR in the current lineup as it boasts a near identical feature set to the flagship and much more expensive RX A8A but with changes to its internal circuitry and two fewer channels of amplification. The A6A boasts processing for 11 channels and amplification for 9, but users looking to put together a 7.2.4 system can add a stereo amp using line-level outputs for either the main left-right pair or the rear-height speakers. Support for immersive formats including Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Aura 3D, and upmixing technology such as Dolby Surround and DTS Neural X. Meanwhile, there are options for those who don't have the speakers for a complete surround system, including Dolby Atmos Height Virtualizer, Virtual Presence Speakers, and Virtual Surround Back Speakers. All of the A6A's 7 input and 3 output ports are 40 gigabytes per second HDMI 2.1, capable of handling uncompressed 4K at 120Hz and 8K at 60Hz signals and HDR10+. There's also support for gaming features ALLM and VRR, while QMS and QFT are to be added via a firmware upgrade at some point in the future. For streaming options, there's the Yamaha Music Cast app, AirPlay 2, and Bluetooth 4.2 SBC AAC on board, as well as Google Assistant and Alexa compatibility for voice control, and a DAB Plus and FM AM tuner for good measure. The A6A is particularly generous regarding its hardwired audio inputs, with three optical, two coaxial, and five analog inputs, including, unusually, XLR sockets and another dedicated to phono. The Yamaha R6 A6A is an impressively specced and versatile amp. 
But all that technology is backed up by a dynamic sonic performance packing sparkingly precise, transients, crisp dialogue, and a spacious, well-balanced soundstage. All in all, the A6A is one of the most responsive, clean, and dynamic-sounding AVRs I've heard at this price. Next up is the Denon AVR X2800H. This receiver is one of the most affordable models in Denon's Premium X range. Sporting 7 channels of amplification and 7.1 channels of processing, it can be configured to drive a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos or DTS-X system. But those without vertical channels can take advantage of its onboard DTS Virtual X and Dolby Atmos height virtualization technologies. Despite being an entry-level amp, the HDMI board on the AVR X2800H has been upgraded from its predecessor to include three HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz video pass-through at up to 40 gigabytes per second. The three remaining HDMI 2.0 ports have a bandwidth of 18 gigabytes bytes per second, but all inputs boast 444 chroma subsampling and compatibility with various HDR codecs, including HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and Hybrid Log Gamma HLG. Gamers are well looked after, with VRR, QFT, ALLM, and FRL on board for a smoother playing experience. Elsewhere, there's also 8K upscaling offered on all inputs and an eARC to supply uncompressed audio via a single HDMI cable. Released in 2022, the AVR X2800H has had a sonic retune and offers users a more responsive, coherent, and spacious sound than some of the brand's older models. It retains Denon's signature authoritative weight, but refines and balances it with a bolder top end that can do better justice to both music and movies. Its onboard room calibration software and modernized full screen interface make it relatively easy to use and well equipped. At number 2, we present to you Denon AVC X3800H. This is a versatile, well-rounded mid-range amp that will appeal to customers looking for longevity and the capacity to adapt to their evolving systems. It offers a considerable 11.4 channels of processing, and with 9 channels of amplification as a single unit, it's suitable for configurations up to 5.4.4 out of the box, but can be expanded to 7.4.4 with the addition of an external stereo amp. Users can also take advantage of a new selective pre-amplifier mode that allows each speaker pair to be assigned to pre-out only for use with an external power amp. So if you wish to upgrade the amplification of your front pair, for example, you can do so. All of the ABC X3800H's 6 HDMI inputs and 3 outputs are HDMI 2.1 ports rated to 40 gigabytes per second, capable of 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz video pass-through. They boast compatibility with every major HDR format, HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and Hybrid Log Gamma. And there's a raft of gamer-friendly technology supported, too, with VRR, QFT, ALLM, and FRL all on board. There are plenty of ways to wirelessly connect to the ABC X3800H, with Apple AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, Rune, and HEOS. Denon's multi-room software that integrates streaming services, including Tidal and Deezer, and lets users stream to compatible products. The ABC 3800H is the most affordable model in Denon's X-Series to support Aura 3D, IMAX Enhanced, 360 Reality Audio, and MPEG-H formats alongside Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. It's also wear support for Odyssey's more advanced multi-EQ XT32 room calibration software and Dirac Live, as a new optional extra begins. Sonically, it's well-balanced, quick and precise, with a more spacious sound field than its predecessor. With a laid-back approach, it handles a variety of content well and pairs well with a broad range of speakers producing a fluid, rhythmically coherent performance full of character. When hunting for an AV receiver or amplifier, it can be hard not to get caught up in the battle of the tech specs, and those who become too focused on comparing spec sheets may well overlook the JBL Synthesis SDR35. While its format support is thorough, its amplification for just 7 channels and current lack of HDMI 2.1 connections are trumped by Denon receivers costing around a sixth of its price tag. In terms of sound quality though, this JBL is in a whole different league, delivering music and movies with a truly rare maturity and sophistication, and if I were building a high-end home cinema from scratch, it would be the first component on the shortlist.
The range of supported HDR types is exemplary, with HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision, and HDR10 Plus all offered on the video side, and Dolby Atmos DTSX, Aura 3D, and even IMAX Enhanced for audio. There's also Dolby Height Virtualization and DTS Virtual X on board for those who want to simulate height effects without the use of physical ceiling or an upfiring speakers. As well as substantial selection of physical connections, there are plenty of ways to wirelessly get your connect to the SDR35 too, with Aptex HD Bluetooth, Apple AirPlay 2, and Google Chromecast on board. It also works with Harman's Music Life app, which allows for streaming of music from the likes of Tidal, Deezer, and Cobuzz, plus track stored on your own network. Simply put, the JBL Synthesis SDR35 has everything you could look for in an AV receiver. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our previous comparison between the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 versus the Sonos Arc.